Hey guys! So today I decided to share my top motivational tips for working out with you. Around six months ago there was an article about the, these tips in Lithuanian, so some of you have, might have read it, some haven't. I'm gonna share a link uh, of the article in the bio in the description anyway, so you can read it, the Lithuanian guys. And uh, for non-Lithuanians, here it goes! So tip number one, you have to have a goal. It doesn't matter whether it is a health goal, a weight loss goal, muscle gain goal or anything else, anything else. You want to tone a little, you want to do a little, anything. I would say write it down maybe or have like a very good vision in your head because if you don't on those cold rainy days when you feel like ah, I'd rather just stay in bed or eat something that maybe is not the best option for you, it's hard not to do that. So make a goal that would get you out of the bed, get you moving and get you, like, remind you what you're working towards. Tip number two, I would say surround yourself with motivation. So follow the right people on your social media. I don't know, have pictures on your phone that whenever you swipe through them, you're like, okay, I need to go because I need to work towards this. I would not, okay, so maybe I should start with the I don't think that all your goals should be visual, should be related to, oh, I want to be this, I want to be thinner, or I want to be whatever, because that's not the point. Maybe you'll relate your goals to something that's like health. So, and I think also when you start working out, eventually you feel like you're more energized, you're in a better mood, so this will keep you going. But to get there, you need to have sort of a very good rhythm and dedication. So yes, as I said, surround yourself with motivation on your phone, on your social media, the things that remind you of your goals, whatever they are. So tip number three that I personally use a lot is uh, to make many challenges for yourself every day or every week or month, whatever you decide. So when you run, Try to run that extra kilometer or 500 meters. It doesn't have to be crazy big. Or for me, it's the pull-ups. I don't really like pull-ups because it's tough. It's not like, oh, I don't like them. I like it. I like everything, doing everything in the gym, trying to challenge my body. But I'm, I'm weak at pull-ups. So I could do, the first time I could do one. One pull-up. And I was like, oh my God, I'm never ever gonna get where I wanna get. But then now, I can do five because constantly I tried and tried and tried every day and started with bands to support myself and then now I can do five and I'm so proud like okay I forget it forget about it because I'm like oh I want to do ten now but like when I look back I could only do one a year ago or nine months ago and I'm like okay maybe that's a slow progress but anyway <laughs> you get the drift so come up with the challenges Challenge yourself and challenge your body. This is the only way to get better. Tip number four, do not work out alone. So if it's possible, of course, if you have an appointment, a deal with your friend, your gym body, buddy, body, <laughs> or <laughs> anyone really who you, you work out with, you're kind of on the same pace, on the same page, similar goals, just make an appointment and then it's a hot way, like, then you don't have to, or the chances are lower that you will not cancel. Because when you make an appointment deal with yourself, you're like, ah, I'll do it tomorrow. No, you won't do it tomorrow. If you won't do it today, chances are very small that you'll be able to do it tomorrow too. So, get that gym body, buddy, I mean, buddy, and get working. Set goals maybe together. and. See how far you come. Compare. Healthy competition is very good. Number five. So if you're working out in the morning, get your clothes ready from the evening. That's the perfect thing to do because in the morning, when the alarm clock rings, you don't have much to think about. You open your eyes, put your clothes on, and then there's no, ah, maybe I should do this. What should I wear? Where is it? Where is my bottle? Where is my water bottle? Where are my sneakers? Where are my socks? Everything ready from the evening. It takes a couple of minutes, you're done in the morning. Number six is the real deal because sometimes you don't feel like working out. There is no way. 
either your body is sore from the day before or you just feel like shit or I don't know it's just not a good day right so I suggest you lie to yourself a little bit get your gym clothes on and go to warm up to stretch once you have stretched a little bit 50% of the time you will end up doing the workout because like that what happened that's what happens to me I start stretching and then suddenly I start maybe doing abs or maybe oh, doing something and then in the end it becomes a good workout so yeah just get your ass to the gym that's the first step okay the first step is putting the gym clothes on <laughs> the second step is getting to the gym with no big plans but just let it organically turn into something so tip number seven if you cannot see the results straight away well it can be a real downer because you keep working and working and working eating healthy doing these little things and or big things whatever but then the results don't come I think that that can be that can be a killer a mood killer and uh, but you have to remember that you are working on yourself and the progress there is a progress sometimes it's very small it might take weeks months years sometimes even years so you have to go slow and enjoy the process that's the most important thing so guys thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed the tips i hope you're gonna use them let me know in the comments below if you like this or subscribe or share with your friends you know that you know the drill and uh, now i think get up stop watching this video and get to work <laughs>